Hi. So according to a uh, fundable, out of 565,000 startups that get launched every year, less than 3% get funding. And entrepreneur identifies three main reasons why that happens. Okay, and that's what I'd like to talk about in this video. My name is Victoria Yampolsky, and I run the Startup Station, an educational resource for early stage startups. Reason number one, lack of defensible financials and a credible valuation, right? And this is the problem that we address here at the Startup Station. Most startup founders do not understand finance. It's not their area of expertise and they cannot credibly translate their business plan into performer financial projections that will correctly represent their vision in the language that investors will understand, which is the language of finance and accounting. Number two, underutilizing your team. Now, of course, when you are a young entrepreneur, you don't know how to scale your business. You don't know how to build teams. Right? It's very important to find the right people, the people who you trust, but also people who are very good, know, who are excellent at what they do. And you really have to be creative in terms of not only utilizing your team, but also their networks and to create a really good board of advisors that can give you access to a greater network so that you have as much expertise and resources available to you as a young company as possible, right? And not creating or not utilizing the board of advisors properly is one of the most common mistakes that early stage startups make. And number three, lack of a clear go-to-market strategy. Now, this is something that we also address here at the Startup Station because in order to create defensible financials and a credible valuation of your company, you need to create a business plan that is translatable into a quantitative forecast. And that means that you have to clarify all of the ingredients of your business plan, including your go-to-market strategy, but also all of your costs and all of your revenue streams and when they're being launched and all of the pricing, how that changes over time, etc. And so when you create a proper financial model, you end up understanding your business a lot deeper and a lot better. And you end up with a better business plan and with an excellent financial model that correctly represents it. So don't make those mistakes. Use our resources, courses, interactive workshops or services to create the proper financial plan and get funded faster. If you like this video, please comment below, like it, share it with your friends and colleagues. And if you'd like to learn more about how to create proper financials for your company, take our flagship five course series. Thank you and see you next time.